Hey guys, I've got something cool to show you today. I was at HSC Electronic Supply in Santa Clara digging through a, a box of old LED displays when I found this guy. It's a uh, an alphanumeric four character intelligent display and that means that it has uh, built-in refresh circuitry and a built-in ASCII decoder so all you have to do to display stuff on, on uh, the LEDs is send it uh, ASCII values over the data bus and it takes care of um, all the character to segment mapping and all the refresh and multiplexing and these things are really great. Um, uh, not too hard to find on eBay but they're very expensive. Um, you might be familiar with uh, some of the other variants like this guy, the DL1414 and the DL2416. Um, there are also dot matrix versions like this guy that are also um, more common. These ones, uh, as you can see, have magnifying lenses on them and then red uh, LED dyes. These um, look a lot like the characters in old uh, calculators. I've used them quite a bit in some of my other videos. Um, and they're very cool, but of course, um, as you can see, this one is much larger than the other two. This one is like about, I think, 0.8 inches high. The characters look like they're about a quarter of an inch high. And I took a closer look at it, and this isn't a regular 16-segment uh, starburst display. In fact, it's a 22-segment display. The part number is DL3422. I found it in a Siemens Lytronics uh, data book, um, 1982, 1983, Optoelectronics uh, data book, marked as a preliminary data sheet. The 1986 book had it marked as not for new design, so this thing is very rare. Um, it was only on the market for probably a couple of years. And that's why there's absolutely no information about it on the internet. Googling the part number just gives you, um, you know, spam links. Googling 22 segment display doesn't give you anything. Um, so I'd like to think that I'm, you know, the first one to demonstrate this in, in quite a long time, probably a couple of decades. And the data sheet points out that in addition to these descender segments, there is this additional crossbar here, and these are used to create lowercase letters. Um, and this part actually has a 7-bit ASCII decoder, so it has built-in upper and lowercase characters. Um, a lot of the other ones just do uppercase. They're 6 bits only. And there are also these two decimal points here that allow it you know, to make an actual uh, I with a dot or a J with a dot and a, a colon and a semicolon and I am going to uh, demonstrate it for you. I have it connected to a little uh, Arduino board and it's just going to cycle through the character set so you can see um, what uh, lowercase characters on a segmented display look like. And we'll play the obligatory music. Now one thing you'll notice here is that there's actually a bug in the uh, in the actual part in I guess the uh, the decoder ROM where some of these characters have an, this extra segment lit up and I don't know if it's just because this part's been sitting around in unknown condition or if maybe the whole batch was like this and why that's that's why they were only on the market for a year or so, who knows. Um, anyway, it's kind of unfortunate because this would have been really cool to use in a project, but this kind of makes it really, I guess, unattractive. But we'll finish out the set. And uh, that's basically it. I'll let it run through again just so you can see it all one more time.
And of course, in real life, these uh, these displays are pure, pure red. They show up white because of my, you know, low level, entry level, whatever, uh, point and shoot camera. Um, but they are very, very red and they look very good. Yep, the actual dots used on the I and J. Alright, and that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, I've uh, put the data sheet, a scan of the data sheet on my website. Um, the link is in the description. Um, for those of you wondering about the 6809 computer, I've been working on that too. I've had a PCB made. It's coming along and I'm going to be at the Bay Area Maker Fair on May 20th and 21st of this year. So if you want to see it in person, I highly recommend you come check it out. All right, see you later.